Hey, hey, so, just going to do a little walk around to my allotment. Well, mine and my mum's and then my own. Um, just show you, uh, show everyone where we're up to. Going to upload this to YouTube, so hello to everyone there. And it's mostly going to be, I, I would think, a work thing, but if it ends up being a more of a YouTube thing, then all the better. So, yeah, I'll uh, flip this camera around and we'll get started. So, I'll try and keep this um, not super long. Um, but yeah, I'll try and run through everything as, as neatly as possible. So, we have a rose bush here. Uh, yeah, that was given to us. We've got this plant here, which looks extremely naughty. Uh, these are called chokers. They produce something like a... Um, it's very similar to a cucumber mixed with a green bell pepper. But it looks extremely naughty. And my mum planted them and she wants them growing around this arch. Because she just likes causing murder. And she's basically a teenager, so there we go. Uh, the greenhouse, we've got flowers outside the greenhouse for, you know, attracting pests and to help bees. Then we've got... Come on, open you. So we've got... Tons of pepper plants. There's them. We have got tomatillos. If you don't know what these are, tomatillos. You make salsa verde with them. They look like a tomato, but they grow in these cool, weird little lanterns. Let's see if we can focus on them, press better. There we go. Yeah, so they grow in these little lanterns, so the flower basically forms. So, yeah, see yeah. So the flower forms, and then it gets pollinated, and then it closes up like that, and then that's the husk. And then the tomatillos grow inside them. These are all peppers, chili peppers of mixed and different varieties. So, we'll see what turns up because. My, uh, my labelling game has not been very good this year. Um, so we've got a zucchini, I believe, or a courgette. Courgette. So I've got a courgette forming in there. Yeah, the bees love these as well because the flowers are the size of Mount Etna. Empty them out. Oh, sugar. I'm trying to give it to the bees. But um, yes, there's that. Uh, we've got climbing beans there, runner beans. Well, cause yet this little bed here is a bit of scrap ground that we've turned into um, hopefully something we can use to eat. So we've got rhubarb there, a couple of strawberries knocking around here, some more flowers. We've got those allisums, they'll see them everywhere because we want to attract hoverflies uh, because hoverflies eat aphids, so on and so forth. Um, we've got the comfrey, which is what we're using to feed all of our other plants. We have raspberries in, but they are being a proper attack by ants and their uh, green fly at the moment. But I don't mind because they were a gift and I'm not too fussed. If they stay off my trees, if the, if this means they stay off my trees, then I'll be a lot happier. And then we've got lots of other plants in there, some garlic, lots of other flowers and spring onions hiding at the back. This bed is in the middle. We have garlic and the garlic is totally rusted. Not as bad as the other bed, but it's got like this rust on it. Here we've got shallots onions and carrots which are really doing all right at the moment uh, some dill at the end here and some more of that allison under this net don't know if it's too clear but we've got lots of cabbages and uh, we think broccolis are the other ones at least we know what the purple ones are the red, the red cabbage the other ones broccolis then we have huge huge potato plants um yeah they're my second dailies see most spring onions here uh, we've got some rosemary hiding in there, which always smells awesome. And we've got more potatoes and more flowers at the back. Moving on to here, some um, just some outside tomatoes. Going to see if we can get anything off them, but it's just an experiment more than anything. We've also got the uh, the same tomatoes, tumbling toms, hanging up outside here as well. But they really need to be inside. But we just thought we'll try them here and see what happens. With any luck, we'll get some off them. But again, more of an experiment. If they go well this year, if they start producing this year, then be really happy. And then we'll get, as I say, more off them. A couple of just outside the potatoes there. They, again, they were just, that was just like waste soil and I had a spare spud. So that went in. Um, this bucket's a bit of an experiment as well because I've harvested the potatoes off these plants. And I replanted them, hoping to get a second load of potatoes off them. So what I've done, is, I did it last year with some sapo mirrors. And they gave me a second crop, which was actually better than the first. Um, so, you can't hurt to try it. I don't know what breeds they are, or like what 
um, species they are, but they are just, as I say, a couple of the earliers, earliers. Uh, we've got more brassicas in here, again, lucky tip brassicas. We have in here, got some um, cucumbers that I've got potted on. These, um, this is pak choy. Uh, this has got, I see we might start taking the leaves off this soon, just for baby leaf. And then I've got others there that I can let head. There's more of those chokers that, as I say, my mum was winding people up with. Um, some more beans. They're a bit forlorn, but I reckon they'll come good. Uh, we've got some squash in. Winter squash. Oh, sugar. Right, so first poly tunnel. Uh, more little bits ready to get potted on. More squash, more tomatoes, more peppers. I was doing successional planting, so hopefully we'll be able to get quite a lot to do. So we'd say more peppers in here. Um, then we've got cucumbers. We think these are gherkins, though. Yeah, see, that's, that to me looks like a gherkin. Um, yeah, so plenty of gherkins this year because we've got them in the other polytunnel as well. Uh, more tomatoes, more tomatillos. They're really going for it. They're landing on him. He's looking fairly mean. Come on, focus. You want to focus? You're going to focus? No. I'm using my phone. I don't have a camera or nothing like that, so just trying to, I don't know, unprofessional, I know. Um, so, yeah, more tomatillos, more chilies. The tomatoes in here are doing really well. I'm sure we've got more uh, brassicas here as well. Um, yeah, they're just inside for now because we've got nowhere to put them, and if you leave them outside, the butterflies. And the thing you also get them, the uh, pigeons. With these tomatoes, we've got them coming on. They're looking fairly healthy. Um, yeah, there's them. So we've got quite a few coming. On um, pretty much all the plants, to be honest. Yeah, so these are all doing well. The chilies are starting and the peppers are starting to flower now. Um, so say, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what what we get, excuse me, it's a bit windy, we lost, we lost a lot of gear, we lost the greenhouse and the polytunnel to wind last year, so I always get antsy when, there's, uh, when it's a bit blowy, uh, sorry, so yeah, other two beds first, so these are spud beds, spud, spud beds with some flowers mixed in for pest control, so these are, this little bit here is volunteer, so all the volunteer potatoes, that I had to uh, pop up everywhere. They've all been uprooted and put in here, but they're looking really healthy, to be honest, for, for volunteers. Then from sort of this part of the hoop forwards, we've got, um, as I say, main crops now. Some haven't come up, some have. This is the same story, main crops, some have come up, some haven't. The back here, we've got a volunteer potato that I've missed. Beetroots, they're not looking too bad. Bad. Hopefully, so you can get a little view of the, th the bases on them. No, can't really see them at the moment. This is the garlic crust I was talking about, though. It's absolutely like horrendous. I don't know if that's going to make sense. Let's see if that'll. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So it's it looks rusty, but it's just like a, a bacteria or a fungal thing. But it's it's really hit these hard. But it doesn't seem to really affect them. I took some up the other day. And it looks beautiful. Uh, so we get more, more thingos, more onions, more shallots, more garlic, and um, strawberries, more strawberries. I'll have to net this over again because these are really starting to fruit off now. Uh, some thyme in a bucket, more strawberries at the ends, they're starting to, they're starting to come good. So, yeah, but you, you definitely get, you're definitely going to get your pests. When it comes to the outside ones, I do have loads of them netted up over there, so I don't mind sharing as long as they stay off my netted ones. So in here we have more rosemary, uh, we've got mint, and yeah, rosemary, mint, and there's chives here as well. They're chives, but the mint seems to be trying to uh, dominate. Then we've got more cucumbers, uh, more tomatoes. And more peppers. Thing is, with these tomatoes, we've interplanted them with basil. So there's basil in the bottom. And, oh, it smells beautiful. 
Yeah, we've been to plant them with basil, so it's meant to, like each other's pests are meant to be deterred by the presence of the other, the counterparts, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so everything, wherever you see flowers, you normally get fruit. So with any luck, this should come good. Oh, so I've got to be careful with the battered ankle. In, this, in these cages here, we have more brassicas. What was that all about? Keep me paranoia at bay. Um, yeah, more brassicas in here. Brassicas are just cabbages, cauliflowers, um, broccolis, sprouts, that's all brassicas. In the Americans call them cruciferous vegetables, if that makes any more sense to you. Certainly doesn't to me. Um, these are, so we've got little salad beds here. We had just trough trays. I call these trough trays anyway. So we had these, we have just put in some pak choys, some little gems, some icebergs and there are more brassicas at the end there but i only put them in to keep them alive um, there's not many but i just found some like odd brassicas and i thought i'll keep trying to keep them alive um, these are more chokers but they're a different breed we got um bolivians and fat babies and i'm not sure which are which one definitely looks terrible and um, they definitely don't look as guilty as the other ones but there you go right so come out of this plot so this is the plot I've renovated with my mum I just picked some strawberries before and the colour on them it's looking like it's going to be a good year with any luck and they're just not you know one off she's had a little weird pollination issue at the end but the rest of them will be good to eat um, yeah so this is that's ours got a couple of apple trees and stuff like that but I don't put a lot of stock in the trees because the whole time we've been here we've got nowhere with them to be honest oh that's to say a couple more potatoes and our corn sweet corn and beans so we'll see how they go yeah, but that's the uh, that's that's a rough go over the, of the first plot and now we shall go over to I'll probably edit this out We'll go over to my one, which I've literally only had a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. So, I cleaned up the greenhouse. Um, it was just full of stuff like that, and bins full of this sort of stuff. And up to now, I've taken down an old cherry tree, which was apparently diseased. And the cherries are too high up for anyone to benefit from them other than the birds, but I don't think they were. Um, I got told that because a lot of stuff's been getting burned here, that the cherries might have been toxic. So apparently these other trees should be safe because the root systems won't reach that just yet. But we'll see. But so this is the look of the fir this is the look of the new one now anyway. Um, so. The rough area, rough idea of the back end. There's the front, and it has had a, a couple of polytunnels. There's like the footings here for polytunnels. So, um, yeah. So there looks like there's been two polytunnels here, but you can see it's. Everything's just gone to ruin, to be honest, and it's got lots of stuff like this in, which like stinging my uh, my bare legs while I'm wearing my shorts. But um, yeah, and I've got to be super careful because my ankle keeps going. But that's just the start of things to come, anyway. So that's that's uh, that. There are little plots. So I would say I'm going to start a new channel for this big mixed little plot, and um, yeah, so. As I say, hopefully it's the start of good things to come. So, I'm going to say if you're watching this with work, be happy to have everybody down. But yeah, so, this is the better one. It's going to be a lot of work to get me another one like this. But, uh, as I say, I'll try and keep the, the updates uh, fairly regular, depending on what I've got going on. But uh, thanks for watching.